Mount Hood Volcano in Oregon, a Cascade volcano, has 38 earthquakes today, 44 in the past month. This is an Oregon Cascades volcano, one of the high threat volcanoes of the West Coast. And we're going to take a look at the uh, earthquakes, Mount Hood area. And we know that uh, it had a 3.9 earthquake June 5th of this year and a swarm at Mount Hood at a very shallow 2.7 miles below the sea level. But uh, Mount Hood, Oregon highest peak forms the prominent backdrop to the state's largest city, Portland. It's very close to Portland. It has erupted episodically for about 500,000 years. It hosted two major eruptive periods during the past one and a half thousand years. During both recent eruptive periods, growing lava dome high on the southwest flank collapsed repeatedly and it formed pyroclastic flows and lahars that were distributed primarily to the south and west along the Sandy River and its tributaries. We see from his pictures it had a lot of snow, that's why the lahars took place. The Lewis and Clark expedition explored the mouth of the Sandy River in 1805 and 6 and described a river much different from today's Sandy. Uh, it, the last eruptive period began in 1781 AD and it affected the White, R White River as well as Sandy River valleys. At that time, the river was choked with sediment generated by erosion of the deposits from the eruption, which had stopped about a decade before their visit. And in the mid 1800s, local residents reported minor explosive activity from Mount Hood, but since that time, the volcano has been quiet. Now we'll take a look at the quakes and the maps and uh, what is going on there, what has gone on and what they expect. I kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. So here we are on USGS Volcanoes Mount Hood. This is the area right there. As we can see, we'll take a look at uh, a better look at some other maps. Mount Hood, Portland, Oregon, right there. It's just below, uh, basically, Mount St. Helens, as we will we'll see later. And uh, this is our activity here. I've counted them. There are 38. Please take my word for it. And this is uh, the Mount Hood PNSN, Pacific Northwest Seismic Network, I'll leave links below. We have Mount Baker, one earthquake in the last 30 days. Mount Rainier, 23 earthquakes in the last 30 days. Mount St. Helens, 26 earthquakes, most of them around today, this, in these past few days. And this is 44 earthquakes, Mount Hood, most of them 38 are today. Okay, 38 plus 6, 246, 44 in the past two days. Uh, past uh, 30 days um, and let's go into our map where is it pulling out this is Mount Hood as we can see pulling out pulling out okay we're coming to Portland Mount St. Helens is over here Okay, Mount Rainier right here. And as we can see, they're not far from each other. But still, this is what uh, is very unexpected, the activity going on today. Mount Hood, Volcano Discovery. It's a stratovolcano about over 11,000 feet high. Oregon, Canada, U.S. mainland, current status normal or dormant, one out of five. Of course, this is uh, last update is not at all uh, recent. Uh, it's uh, 75 kilometers east southeast Portland, Oregon, highest peak and one of the most prominent of the Cascade volcanoes. It's probably the only volcano in Oregon which has erupted in historic times, last confirmed in 1865 to 66. Andesite, dacite lava domes of the glacial uh, glacially eroded summit complex, as we said. Uh, oh, this is one of the. Uh, 30,000 years ago eruption types of events, it slips off and we have lahars because of the uh, pyroclastic flows mixing with the uh, 
uh, melted water from the ice. The main hazard from Mount Hood are posed by pyroclastic flows and mud flows, lahars, in case of an eruption. These would travel downstream riverbeds radiating from the volcano and threaten communities in this area, which are not far, you know, it's not at all far, Portland from Mount Hood. What is it? It's about, uh, what is it? 100 miles or so. Okay. So it's not at all far, geologically wise. Um, they would travel downstream riverbeds. Flank failure and debris, avalanche risk, as we can see here. What happens? Flank failures. Scientists also warn that due to heavy alteration of rocks by fumarolic and hydrothermal activity, large parts of the upper volcanic edifice are structurally unstable and could be prone to massive slope failure. This would trigger catastrophic debris flow such as that what happened at Mount St. Helens in 1980 and have happened at Mount Hood's geologic past as well. More than 100,000 years ago, a large collapse produced a debris avalanche in Lahar that traveled north down the Hood River Valley and crossed the Columbia River, and a smaller but still sizable event like this repeated itself about 1,500 years ago. Mount Hood eruption style explosive. And the last eruptions were 1907, 1869, 1865 to 66, 1859, 1854, 53, 1795, 1765. Um, and you can see basically it goes up to 4940 BC. But around this time here, they were quite frequent. The earthquake activity, it doesn't include all the earthquakes. Uh, today's earthquakes are not there. But uh, the biggest one, 2.5, was October 17 at a depth of about uh, 8 kilometers, 8 kilometers, 7 kilometers, 8 kilometers, so you can see basically they're the same depth. And going back to our map, let's go here. Here we are. Okay. And here we are. Let's take this off. Last two hours are red. Last two days are orange. Here we are right here. And let's go to our imagery right there. Look at that. That's it. Beautiful Mount Hood. Right there. And uh, they're basically on the uh, western part of the uh, called the, uh, the crater, as you can see. Seismograph. We'll take some time. It'll take some time to come up. Again, this is uh, today one of today's earthquakes. Here we go. Okay. Pretty active, as you can see, and it's still ongoing. And we could take this off and take topographic and uh, imagery. Okay, and take this this as well. The seismograph for this one. Again, today's earthquake. Here we go again. And you can see that they're still ongoing. So, uh, what's happening to Mount Hood? What is happening to Mount Hood? It's one of the high threat volcanoes of the Cascades, as we can see. The earthquakes in Pacific Northwest, states of Washington and Oregon, the Cascades volcanoes, result from slip and falls uh, in a variety of geographic geological settings. It has to do with the uh, uh, motion of the Juan de Fuca oceanic plate, and we have had some earthquakes in the Juan de Fuca. Where is, where is it? Sorry. Blanco fracture zone, there we go, right there. Gorda escampant, you can see that uh, uh, this is a subduction zone that has quite a lot of activity. I had a, co a comment from a lady on the west coast today, and she says, why is the, um, the sea level um, decreasing in our area, even though they say we have sea level rise? 
Okay, well, we saw that in Greece as well, where we had the 6.5 earthquake today, 6.4, 6.5 earthquake between Crete and Cyprus that shook the whole of the eastern Mediter uh, southern Mediterranean. It's because of the fact that it's inflating, like a bubble inflating, and we saw that uh, on the sides of that inflation, um, Crete was going uh, south west and Cyprus was going northeast. It's as if something was coming up. Okay, so uh, the, yeah, the seafloor, if it's inflating, of course, uh, it's, it's going the, the sea is going to go somewhere else. Okay, so it's as if you have, uh, let think of landfill. You know, when you're filling land, of course, it means that the, the sea will go somewhere else. So that's probably what's happening in your area. Uh, something is inflating. We know that uh, we have the subduction zone of the Pacific Plate under the North American Plate. And um, we have a lot of magma there as well in the San Francisco, San Andreas Fault, and the Walker Lane Fault System. And here we have the USGS map of the volcano threat category designated by color. The red are a very high threat. High threat is uh, orange, moderate is uh, yellow, and low is green, very low is blue. So uh, you can see that the Cascadia volcanoes all here are, of course, very high threat. One of them being Mount Hood. Okay. Um, we can't go in more, but you can see them. Okay. Mount St. Helens, Mount Rainier, Mount Baker, Mount Hood. They're all very high threat volcanoes. They're all in red. There we go. Take this off. And uh, that's our location of the 44 earthquakes that we had today alone on the 19th of October. So all of you there, please be very careful. We do have that type of classification by USGS on Mount Hood. Thank you for your support. Please leave your, com your uh, comments. Thank you so much.